Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's nail vlog video. So today we are going back in time to when I went to Korea a couple of weeks ago and I stopped by this nail salon called Queen Nail in the Coex Mall in Seoul, South Korea. All of the information and everything you need to know will be in the description, such as price, um, location, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started with the service. Um, in Korea, what I've noticed is the process of getting a gel manicure is so different as well as the products that they use so we start off with um shaving or filing my actual nail there is no um soaking or anything like that beforehand we just go in with filing the nail and giving it some shape um, i didn't ask for any cutting because my nail was already really short at this point so i just asked for a square um, shape with rounded edges she's brushing off the excess and spraying it with alcohol next we're going in with a cuticle softener as you guys um, notice it's like a nail polish cuticle softener versus like ones that squeeze out of a bottle so um I find that Koreans and whenever I get my nails done in Korea, the service is always a little bit more, should I say, elevated. Um, not to say that in the States you can't find a service like this, but um, I do find that it is a little bit more um, luxurious and personal. It doesn't feel rushed and the service actually costs a lot more money in Korea. Normally a gel manicure will range anywhere from $60 US all the way to $160 US. I posted in the past me getting my nails done at a place called Unistella, which is like the most famous nail salon in Korea. Um, it was really an ex really expensive, very unaffordable. Um, I'll leave a link to that video down below if you guys are interested in that one. Um, but this one I ended up paying $90 and that just blows my mind because I know that I could get a deluxe gel mini and petty for $90 in the States. But I decided to treat myself and really show you guys the process of a $90 manicure in Korea. Now, um, we go in and clip the cuticle just like how you would in the States, but um, something that really differentiates differentiates Korean nail experiences with American nail experiences, in my opinion, is the attention to detail. Um, from the design to the actual application of the polish to the cuticle cutting to the filing, everything is so incredibly detailed. Um, there is nothing that is left with any mistakes. And um, as you guys know, Korea is the number one plastic surgery um, country of the world because all of the surgeons are so incredibly detailed with their tools and I think it's the same way with these types of services. I don't really know why I brought up the plastic surgery, but I find that Korean people are just really, really detailed. I don't know if it's because of the metal chopsticks situation, but we are really good with tools. Um, so once we have warmed up our hands and just kind of pampered the skin a little bit, she then goes back in and files the nail shape again to be a little bit more um, exact, making sure that every nail looks the same from the right hand to the left hand. Um, Again, I really enjoy getting my nails done in Korea, but it is not the most affordable service. Um, it is definitely a luxury in my opinion, um, but these nails do last up to a month. So if you think about it, you're not getting your nails done every two weeks like you would in the States for some people. Um, you would go back in a month and it's because the process of their gel application is a little bit different and it does cost a little bit more money. You start off with your base polish, um, which again, as you can see as she's applying it, she almost does like an L shape towards the ends of the nails to really make sure that it's coated evenly. And um, it is a really thin layer. So every layer that she's been applying is really, really thin. Um, it's not goopy, so every time she reapplies it, um, the light really cures all the way through, which I think is um, really nice because then you don't get like flaking or your nails not coming off altogether. 
She goes in with a buffing block and wipes off the residue with acetone or alcohol, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, um, and then goes in and softly buffs the top of the base gel. Um, this, I think, just gives a better grip to the actual polish when she goes in with the polish. We went in with two or three coats of the polish. I don't exactly remember, but because it was such a pigmented, um, opaque white or like off-white cream color, um, there was left like a, like you have to go in with a couple of coats just to make sure it's coated evenly um, And again as you can see if you can kind of look closely to the screen It is a really thin coat. She's not um, she's really taking off a lot of the product. She's not really um, coating it with like a lot of goop and residue and excess if that makes sense um, and the attention to the cuticle and around the nail is is really precise she pushes the nail um, applicator all the way back to the cuticle and really takes her time to pull towards the front of the nail um, again I'm just gonna speed up the process and let you guys enjoy watching the application of the base color um, before we go into the design So we are back and we are doing the top coat section. So they don't just do like a top coat and call it a day. Um, I'm going to show you guys later that they do something like a hard gel, um, which comes out of a pot and you paint it on with a brush. Um, but again, this is just the finished top coat. I don't want to say that this is exactly how every single salon does it. In Korea I don't want to overgeneralize whatsoever this is just what I've experienced um, a different nail tech came and she is now placing the design um, the little like sticks that I decided to put on my nails she did use this pot to do the stick design um, like this hard gel for adhering the design to my nail but she also used this hard gel over all of my nails so um i know that this is like some people would call this not a gel manicure anymore they would call it like a hard gel manicure again i'm not a nail tech so i don't exactly know the exact terminologies of everything and the names of every single service in the entire world but um what i do know is that my friends from hong kong and um, those are my friends that live in japan and korea and stuff when they do get their nails done they do use like most of them end up getting a top coat with this kind of hard gel process so just calling it a gel manicure in Korea because I find that most gel manicures like it's just an assumption that you're gonna get this hard gel over the top of all of your nails okay so now that we got that out of the way I loved the design on her thumbnails so I actually got inspired later on and added a couple of pearls as well I normally was just gonna stick to these like golden sticks which I don't really know like what it is but I thought it was like a cute little sprinkles type of um, look and I liked it a lot so um, she's just kind of like throwing them down on my nails nail bed um, just to look like you just kind of sprinkled on some gold sticks which I loved she cures it for a little bit and then just to make sure it's in place and then cures it again my nails ended up becoming a lot thicker because of how much more product we had to put over the area that we did the design so keep that in mind if you guys are planning on getting you know like a 3d almost like adding something on top of your nail bed um, as a design versus like painting something on just keep that in mind that it's gonna be elevated your nail will most likely be a little bit thicker because there's a lot more product that needs to adhere and like you need to build almost like more on top so that nothing gets caught underneath the design or you know when you're washing your hair or anything like it doesn't pull or rip off like the design that you're um going for so again um we're just coating the thumb and the ring finger with 
more of this hard polish. Um, when I went to Unicella, she did the same thing. She used a similar product. It came in a black pot just like this, and she used a brush to apply it. We're going in with a little pearl, and I was, again, inspired by her own thumbnails um, because she had a little pearl moment. I didn't want to go for anything too big because I didn't want it falling off, um, but we just put it on the kind of near the cuticle of my ring finger and my index finger. I really loved it. It looked really classy. And um, yeah, I think adding like a little pearl moment was definitely a good idea. It wasn't super raised up or anything. It didn't really get in the way of, of my everyday life, which I loved. Um, and we're now just going in again, coating that area where we put the sprinkles just to make sure that it's really secure. No edges are exposed so that, um, you know, it's covered completely so that it doesn't get in the way of my everyday life. Um, again, this forced the nail to be a little bit thicker, but I didn't mind. These nails lasted me about a month. And um, yeah, I did think it was worth the price that I paid. But if I were to do these nails again, I probably wouldn't have done all of like these crazy designs because I just didn't like I got over it really quickly. I'm the kind of person that that gets over designs really fast. I really like to change up my nails a lot. That's why I'm kind of a nail vlogger. Um, so I will take you guys to go to my next nail appointment. Um, to show you guys what I'm doing next. But yeah, I'll let you guys keep enjoying watching these nails and um, show you guys the final product. Okay, so I just finished getting my nails done. I hope you guys like it. It's really simple. I wanted to go for something simple, especially because like I have a couple of things to go to in the next couple of weeks. Like, like I said, it's my birthday and we're doing a lot of festivities when I get back. But we're also, I have a bridal shower um, in a couple of weekends to go to and then like, just like random stuff. So I wanted to get something pretty simple, um, which I really, really like these nails a lot. Um, and they did such a good job. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.